Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. This is still your free access math teacher Ash and today we're going to discuss the first two operations on radicals and that is the addition and subtraction of radicals. But if you don't know anything on what to follow, the rules, the techniques on adding and subtracting radicals, then I suggest you sit down, relax, and finish this video. But before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners! Welcome to another session here in Math Learning with Sir Ash. Today, we're going to discuss the most essential learning competency-based lesson for quarter 2 of the grade 9 mathematics, which is all about adding and subtracting radicals. The question is, how do we add and subtract radicals? Adding and subtracting radicals is just the same concept as adding and subtracting polynomials. However, in this case, we will be dealing with radical expression. Now, remember what you have learned in adding and subtracting polynomials. You cannot add unlike terms. Therefore, in adding and subtracting radicals, you cannot also add or subtract unlike terms. Example, if you have square root of 2 plus square root of 3, you cannot add these two because you don't have the same terms. In this case, you don't have the same radicand. Clear? Okay. So, if you want to get the result of this one, you just copy your given problem. However, if you have 3 square root of 2 plus 5 square root of 2, then this has the same radicand. What you need to do is you just add the coefficients of these radical expressions, and that is 3 and 5. So, you will have 8 square root of 2. Now, is this familiar as the case 3x plus 5x? They are just the same 8x. So, the same concept is applied. So, in subtracting radicals, you just apply what you have learned in subtracting polynomials, but with a radical expression. But somehow, there are times that this kind of problems will become challenging. Example, if you have square root of 50 plus square root of 200, what is the answer of this? Now, in this case, we cannot apply just copy the problem because in this example, we can simplify our given terms. The square root of 50 can be simplified to square root of 25 and square root of 2, right? While the square root of 200 can be simplified by the square root of 100 and the square root of 2. Now, if we try to simplify this one, this will become 5 square root of 2, and this will become 10 square root of 2. In this scenario, you already have the same terms. So, 5 plus 10, that will become 15 square root of 2. Easy, right? Now, let us consider some exercises for you to have a deeper understanding on how to add and subtract radicals. Okay, my dear math learners, we have here five problems to be solved and for us to simplify by adding and subtracting the radical expressions. So, we have here our first example, the square root of 98 plus square root of 50 minus the square root of 18. Now, as you can see, all of the terms are unlike terms, but each term can be simplified. So, if that is the case, first step that you should do is to simplify each term first before adding the terms. Okay, so what is the square root of 98? Is this a perfect square? No. However, we can break this down into two factors where one factor is a perfect square and that is 49 times 2. So, square root of 49 times square root of 2. The 50, I just given you the factors earlier. That is square root of 25 and square root of 2. And then we have minus square root of 18. We have the square root of 9 and the square root of 2. If you multiply this, the answer is 98. If you multiply this, the answer is 50. If you multiply this, the answer is 18. Okay, so now what we can do is we need to simplify even further. 49 is a perfect square, so that is 7, the principal root, so 7 square root of 2. 
25 is a perfect square, so that is 5. We just copy the square root of 2. 9 is a perfect square, and that is 3 square root of 2. So now, I have 3 terms with the same radicands. So this will be considered now as like terms. So 7 plus 5, that is 12. 12 minus 3, and that is 9 square root of 2, and this will be your final answer. Easy, right? So, let's go to the second example. Now, in this second example, we have variables. Okay, so we have 2x cube root of 24x plus 5 cube root of 81x to the fourth. Now, look at the given radicands. They are not the same. However, they can be broken down or can be simplified. So, let's just write first our 2x here. Okay? And then, let's try to break 24x. And remember that 24x is in the index of 3. So, that is cube root. So, what are factors of 24 in which one factor is a cube root? Okay. And that is cube root of 8, cube root of 3, and the cube root of x. Because 8 times 3 is 24 times x. That is x. Okay. Now we have here, we just copy first our 5, and then we get the cube root of 81. Now, 81 is not a perfect cube, but it is a power of 4. Question is, what are the factors of 81 in which one factor is a perfect cube? And that is the cube root of 27. Now, if you divide 81 to 27, that will give you the cube root of 3. So, 27 times 3 that is 81. Now, we have here x to the 4th. 4 is greater than the index, which is 3. So, we can have also the cube root of x cubed as well as the cube root of x. Okay? So, I just factor x to the 4th in terms of its index. Clear? Okay. So, now let us simplify. I just copy this one. So, 2x. The cube root of 8, that is 2, so that will become times 2. The cube root of 3, okay, there is none. The cube root of x, there is none. So I will put them as 1. The cube root of 3x. And then I have here 5. The cube root of 27 is 3, okay. The cube root of 3 is still the cube root of 3. The cube root of x cubed is x, so I will write x for this one. But this, I will just copy this one. And the cube root of x is still the cube root of x, so I will just put 3x here. So basically, in these four factors, this is a perfect cube as well as this is a perfect cube. Okay, so now I will simplify. So 2x times 2, that will give me 4x cube root of 3x. 5 times 3x, that will become 15x cube root of 3x. So as you can see, the cube root here and the cube root of 3x here are the same. So we can add the 4x and the 15x giving us 19x cube root of 3x. And this will be your final answer. Is it right? Now let us go to our third example. We have 3 square root of 20 minus 6 square root of 125 plus 5 square root of 45. So 20, 125, and 145 are not the same terms, but can still be simplified. So we have, we just copy first our 3. We broke down our 20 into factors with a perfect square because we are talking about square root. So we have square root of 4 and square root of 5. If you multiply this, this will give you square root of 20. We have here, copy the 6. We break down 125. So, what are the factors of 125? So, we have 25 and 5 because 25 times 5 is 125. Okay? And for the 45, we have the square root of 9 and the square root of 5 because 9 times 5 is 45. You see the pattern here? Okay. So, now let us simplify. Square root of 4 is 2, so that will become 3 times 2 square root of 5. We have square root of 25 here, so that is 5, so 6 times 5, square root of 5. Okay, here we have 5 times the square root of 9 is 
3 and we just copy the square root of 5. Now, I will simplify the first term. 3 times 2, that is 6, square root of 5. The second term, that is 6 times 5, that is 30. So, 30 square root of 5. And we have here 5 times 3, that is plus 15 square root of 5. Now, all of my terms are having the same expression or radical expression. So, 6 minus 30 plus 15. So, I'll just use this one first, okay? So, 6 plus 15, that will give me 21. 21 minus 30, that will give me negative 9 square root of 5. And that will be my final answer. Easy, right? Now, let us go to our last two. Okay, my dear math learners, we are down to our final example. We have 7 cube root of 8x squared y plus 2 the cube root of 27x to the 5 y to the 4. Okay, so what we can do is we check whether we can get its simplified form. 8 is a perfect cube. 27 is a perfect cube. Our index is 3, so we can simplify it. Okay, so let's just first write the 7 here. So the cube root of 8 is positive 2. The cube root of x squared is still the cube root of x squared. So we will just copy that one. The cube root of y is still the cube root of y. So we will have a radical expression x cubed x squared y. Okay. Now let's go to the second term. We have 2 here times. The cube root of 27 is 3. Okay. x to the fifth and cube root. Okay. So we can break this down into x cube and x squared okay so that is in cube root so therefore this will give us x however we will still have a cube root of x squared okay now how about the cube root of y to the fourth the cube root of y to the fourth in terms of the index of 3 is y cube and the cube root of y okay so, y cube and the cube root of y, that will give us y to the fourth. So, since this is a perfect cube, so that will give us y. However, there is no perfect cube in this one. So, let's just copy it and put it together with the x squared. So, giving us the cube root of x squared y. So, now as you can see, our radical expression are the same. But, we still need to simplify this one. So, we have 14 cube root of x squared y. Plus 2 times 3, that is 6, xy, cube root of x squared, y. Okay, now my dear math learners, can we add these two? As you can see, although they have the same radical expression, but the coefficient of this expression is 14 without a variable. In the second term, we have 6xy. Basically, they are not the same. They are not like terms so therefore our final answer will be this one easy right so i hope my dear math learners you have now the understanding and the concrete idea of how to add and subtract radicals now if you do have some confusions on our examples you can rewind each example so that you can understand it thoroughly but if you still have misunderstanding you can put your inquiries in our comment section below now, this is the time that I will challenge you whether you have understood our topic and here it is. Okay, math learners, I hope you have a wonderful time learning how to add and subtract radicals. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you so much, God bless, and keep safe always. Congratulations, math learners, for arriving to this part of the video. If you think that this video have helped you, click that like button. And if you think that this channel can change the way you see mathematics, do not forget to click that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you.